Hello, my name is Tim Sheen, and I would like to talk about the Kinetochor structure and its function. Now, to start with, I would like to talk about the structure. The Kinetochor, which is all of this, is located on the sister chromatids, the chromosome and its copy. The Kinetochor itself is a relatively large complex of proteins. It's about 38 different types, uh, all in all. And it's about 100 nanometers across. The only thing that even comes close to this complex is the ribosome. Now, on to the structure itself. The inner plate, which is right here, houses a very interesting histone protein called the CENP, PA. And um, the CENPA replaces the H3 histone protein, which is, handles uh, genetic regulation in the chromatin. Now the next structure, which is the outer plate right there, this actually handles microtubule attachment. It's got 20 anchoring sites in an animal cell. and a uh, prokaryote, it generally houses just one. Anyway, this is the fibrous corona. This little thing catches and holds the microtubules and is responsible for adding and holding the tubulin on the microtubule itself, microtubule being here. And that basically wraps up the structure bit, so in my next part I would like to talk about mitosis and how this all comes together. Alright, let's talk about mitosis. Interphase, which the cell is in now, the cell is not going through a lot of reproductive uh, cycle anyway, but the chromosome is starting to pinch. And this is also where the kinetochor is being assembled, as well as the centrails reproducing. Hence, right here, centrails right here. Now, prophase is where the chromatin can condense, where we can actually see. Let's just get rid of my nucleus put in the individual chromosomes, well, sister chromatids, and uh, then we get, in, then we are in prometaphase. In prometaphase, the centrioles migrate to opposite poles, and the microtubules are either holding or pulling the uh, sister chromatids into the center which is where metaphase is in. Now metaphase, with the chromosomes as they are, they can stay like this for an, an interestingly long amount of time, depends on the cell. But eventually we go into anaphase. Now the chromosomes here split apart or by the uh, centrioles being pulled by the microtubulin. And in the middle of this, we have the stem bodies. Now the stem bodies, they are made of myosinactin, and they, they signal for the cell to start contracting right here. Now let me just do that. And this is a contractile ring, and it acts like a muscle. Now, once it gets to the point, this point, we're going to tel telophase, and the nuclei starts to reform, make small little ones at first, and they fuse into larger ones. And the contractile ring constricts to the point where we have a cleavage furrow. The cleavage furrow contracts and contracts until we, until the plasma membrane just snaps completely. Thus, we have two new daughter cells with two new nuclei and plenty of organelles between them. Now this is not exactly even either. 
But this ends mitosis. All right, to make a quick, um, to make this presentation end, I am going to basically do cell death in my own way. So, um, here you go, last treat. Magnificent. Anyway, that's all I've got for you guys, so, um, signing off.